I'm Matt Ricehouse. I'll be fighting this Saturday in San Diego on Strike Force against Bobby Green. In regards to my opponent, I don't really know a lot about him. I'm sure he's uh, about the same level as me because they, they always match me up with somebody. You know, really good guys. Uh, I, I think we're all definitely going to be about the same level, though, because they, they keep it pretty exciting. They give me guys that are um, definitely uh, tough, you know, good records, and they bring it. Um, but I don't think it's going to be anybody that's uh, it's not going to be anything surprising. We're both going to be really good at what we do, and we're going to bring it to each other. Um, I'm sure he's going to be just as tough as everybody else I've fought, but I really don't know a whole lot about the guy personally. Uh, fighting at this level is pretty hard. It's you know it's definitely the hardest thing I've done, and then to get a fight on kind of short notice is, uh, of course, makes it a little harder, a little more intense. But um, you know, fighters fight. And that's what we train to do. I never stop training. It's just um, that's a whole different mental side of it to be offered something that quick. I think I'm going to be in great shape. Uh, I, like I said, I never stop training. We always have guys ready for fights, and if, if we're not in here getting them ready, then there's no way they they'd make it through their fights so we all keep each other in shape um, just because I haven't fought in a while you know I've definitely been in the gym it just changes the mental side that uh, now it's now it's go time it's time for me to get ready Uh, this December will be seven years that I've been training. I started off, you know, doing jujitsu and uh, just kind of being in the whole camaraderie side of it, making friends and challenging myself. Decided to start competing and then decided to start competing in another thing and another thing, you know, boxing and whatever. And it just kind of grew to where it is now. Um, I never expected to get where I am, so it's all just bonus to me. It's all it's, I appreciate everything they offer me, and I, I've enjoyed you know the friends and the training, and it's it's just it's great. It, everybody wants to do what I'm doing, so um, you know I'm pretty privileged. I'm excited about it. Um, you know I I kind of learn every year something new that I'm into this for. I, I gain more every year that I do this. You know friends and training and just. The, it, things change from the beginning I, I never had the idea that I'd get to where I am now I never even thought I would try it and then each year uh, you challenge yourself you do more and more to, to push it and see how far you can go and um, you know I like I said I never thought I'd get to where I am I, I just put in as much as I can and I've, I've proven myself that that's enough every time uh, I will continue to do it every time and let the cards fall as they will I'm just gonna put in everything I have and I'm gonna show that I, I have what it you know, I have what it takes to do it. I have the, the guts to try it. And I know a lot of people would love to be where I am, but they they just they can't go out and try it. And uh, hopefully it, it inspires people that I'm just a normal guy and I, I just put in everything I have and let everything fall as they will. And so far it's been enough. And I, I believe in myself. I believe it will continue to be enough. Um, as for like keys to victory, uh, I, I don't know a lot about the guy. It, it's one thing if you have eight weeks to prepare for somebody or you can watch their combinations or what kind of pace they set, but we're both in the same boat. We're, we're probably both thinking the same thing about each other. Like, not, you know, there's you can watch a little bit of tape, but everybody changes. And I haven't fought in a little while, you know, maybe a year, and I'm, I know I've grown, I've changed, and I don't do the same things, and I'm sure he doesn't either. So any footage the little bit that's out there it, it can't be the fighter that I'm about to face you know um, I don't know what the keys to victory are except on short notice push the pace and go with what you know trust trust your stuff and you know just see what happens I just want to say thanks to everybody that's helped me get ready um, Dustin Sievers has been, has been a big part of helping me uh, you know pads and everything and conditioning um, all my friends have given me a lot of support mentally uh, you know my, my good buddy Alp and Sampo and 
uh, Mike's, you know, Mike Rogers does everything for me. Um, it's, this team has just been great, and, and it's, I couldn't do anything without him. Uh, special thanks to my dad. It's his birthday today, so happy 46th. Um, I love you. Thanks for all the support. And um, I, I couldn't ask for anything more than what I have. My friends and family, they've, they've gotten me to where I am, and I really appreciate everybody.